hey my family you if you subscribe subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe to house of content ghana subscribe su subscribe you can't come and be going and be coming subscribe subscribe kindly subscribe click on it yes now go to the notification side aha uh -huh. click on that one too now share the content aha uh -huh. now go to the comment section start typing anything you want welcome to this episode of y'all of the day um this particular story be sad because a level 100 student uh drowned in a pool during the week level 100 student the university of ghana and in the video you could see say um, like them come out from the water inside the pool inside i don't know whether the people around him know they knew how to do the cpr or is, is that is it crp or cpr yeah whatever it is you know that thing where you put the press press your chest and you room from out for your mouth inside and all those things. Uh -huh. I don't know what happened. So the guy drowned and so he passed. May he so rest in perfect peace. Well, what happened was um, he he went with a couple of friends to the pool and then um, they were going to swim. Actually, his friends that he went with, they know how to swim. Yeah, they know how to swim. So like as they were swimming, they were swimming. The guy just um, went to um, the um, twenty-one feet here, and then the, I think there were some ladies sitting there. So my friends were saying maybe he, it was because of the ladies that's why he was jumping, like to impress them. But well, we didn't know what literally came into him, and then he just jumped into it. As far as he was standing near the twenty-one feet, everyone supposed like he knows how to swim. So after he jumped into it, for some time they noticed the guy wasn't up. The next they saw was um his boxers actually um like was floating uh, on top of the water and then the guy we can't find him. So later on crown after they noticed that and then the body came up to the surface. The guy had literally drawn, he was gone like dead. And then he was floating so they pulled him and then gave him the chest compression the girl the guy wasn't um responding and then so that uh, he was naked in the birthday mouth and then i also some people were saying like he was going to impress the ladies because as a beginner no one knows like what really came into him that he as a beginner you look at things one feet about more than two times your height then you jump into it and um, this was actually his last um start he updated before he died so we don't know if he knew he was about to die or he just... and i'm going to blame this thing on the strike that is happening first of all what's up what is happening you see if the kids in the book there if people will come to school, they lecture where you give them assignment. I'm, they don't go stand for pool size and they go pool pool. I don't understand. For the past month, Ghanaian lecturers, university lecturers are on strike. And the government you know they talk anything about it. The kids they campus doing nothing. They eat, they sleep, just fooling around, nothing. I don't understand. And that is why if, if you put their school where you give them assignments and make them do it, they don't go stand poolside. The thing I've been finished, University of Ghana will can issue statement. The statement will bring the kiddie back and forth. What's up with the strike? Come back to the classrooms so that the, the kiddies, they, they, they will be occupied, they will get something doing. Level 100 student to level 100, this, it be fresher, like the, them people, some, the, the ones that have been admitted right now. It just died like that. You if you can't tell me, say, oh, I'll be there in the weekend, so we can lecture us no day and all those things. I mean, say, still, I'm still going to blame it on. Please, the, I don't know why the government is quiet about this whole thing. There's, there's nothing going on. The kid is there, the campus, they don't do anything. No. This is going to affect a lot of things. Academic calendar, what not. 
Why this country will not be serious like that? Why are we not serious? Any serious country by now, the lecturers by now, like oh, the government or the labor commission or whatever, them sit down, them dialogue. Oh, this is what we can offer. This is what is going to happen. So please return to the classrooms, the lecture halls, and all those things. We they enter second month. This these people are on strike. The government is doing nothing about it, and the students are just on campus gallivanting around. No, why do they, they are paying school fees too? We have to be serious, so we have to be serious in this country. You don't want to pay the lecturers, but how you want to make them go there, make them go lecture? Me say they you see, me say, I'm going to link this thing to the, the, the strike because if the lecturers they went where then they then they lecture, where they give these students assignment, you you your mind self make occupy. You know, go stand somewhere saying you go do swimming pool and things. The only pool where it will be relevant in your life is uh, so Liverpool. This is sad. This is sad. The kid is just their campus, nothing. This government, they, they disappoint me. It disappoints me sometimes. Because I don't understand. How we their country inside? Do you think... Hey, and this is going to affect... You see, the timetable, you go see, say, uh, 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 Sundays and this things and their classrooms and things. That'd be how they like. When they do all those things and they come back, then they will come and put everything like when they come back, no, let's write exams, let's write this, let's write then everything make Pascal and then Charlie people have to do a whole lot of things in the shortest possible time because they have wasted time. But also it'd be important say people will learn that CPR thing. Honestly, I'm just throwing it out there. This is very important because when them come out your mouth from the water inside, I don't see anybody attempt that. Then just come out and wait and put down for there. Probably that could have saved him. Honestly, I'm just saying. We need to teach the, you, the info, you have because that'd be like the closest first aid you go feel have in this situation. Whoa. We need to learn some of these things. This should be something where they, for the teaching, the schools, and all those things. The people said they go teach them, they on strike. Somebody's son, level 100, hmm? bright future, wasted. He pay me, he pay me, and that is why I'm saying, say, get the lecturers back to the classroom. Get these kiddies occupied. Let them do something. Get them assignment. Now, if we start lectures and things, the assignment will go there, your top self. You don't go think about going to jam and things. If you make the kiddies the room, room line, do the. I mean, them, what the vex me is they pay school fees. Your school fees are the waste be that. The academic year, because I know, you know, you know, bunch, you know, long. Already now, people have wasted like two months already doing nothing. This government is a, is a fucking disappoint me. Dialogue, do something. Ah. If they say they want their salaries to be increased, they want their allowances to be increased, whatever their demands. Even if you can't meet it, sitting down and dialoguing or making sure, assuring them something. Put something on the table. There should be something substantial so that to motivate them to get back to the classrooms. Now, make them go take your make, because the way the kid is now, it be, it be sad to tweet that Jimmy a face where them just know they do because nothing there. May the guy so rest in perfect peace. He really pay me, pa. He really, really pay me just like that. And this is the statement from the university. I know, and fine. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Management of the University of Ghana regrets to announce that a level 100 male student of the University of Ghana died uh, of the university died around 4:40 p.m. on Saturday, January 29, 2022, while using the swimming pool at the university sports directorate, in spite of attempts by pool guards to ensure his safety. The family of the student has been notified and the body has since been deposited at the university hospital while further investigation take place. Management mourns his tragic loss and sends deepest condolences to his family and friends. 
and on behalf of the entire university community. We assure members of the university community and the Bury family that management is working together with police and the university health services to investigate the unfortunate incident. But anyway, I mean, it's beyond the university. Day to day, our strike. So, yeah, and according to them, yeah. But the CPR thing, they, they need. You really, really, they need. You really, they need. May you so rest in perfect peace. But please, government, whoever is involved, get the lecturers back to the classroom. Get these children occupied. Get them learning. Get them doing assignments. Because... Where this thing they go, you know, be, you know, you know they be, you know they make sense. Where this thing they go, you no, know they make sense. It's like right now nobody, I, they, I don't understand. It's not, it's not even a conversation again. No. We are even discussing Abnakoko instead of lectures going on strike. Look, 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 look. Waste country, waste of a country. 